Well, good morning and welcome to CCTV. This is Tracy Ann Smith Hodges. Hodges. Capture. And I see so much stuff just looking at this. I, I took it to the maximizer. Took it to the filters. Good morning, everybody. Let me show you what I found here. Look at this picture right now and you can see quite a bit of stuff. Um, these people over here chatting me. I'm on Facebook right now. Excuse me, excuse me. And so as you look at this, I'm going to take you right to the filters. I maximized this and I filtered it. I just want to bring it out a little bit more with you guys involved. So here we go. This has been maximized like 300%. First thing I want to point out before you look around too much, all kinds of strange activity right there. Okay. And you could imagine this has been maximized, I think, about two or 300 times. I think 260%, something like that, which is about two or 300 times larger. Notice also the cloud structure underneath the dark blue. I didn't put none of that in there. I just, I just did my dehazing. You also have some activity over here, which looks like debris. What I'm saying, I, I'm pretty sure these are asteroids or shifts that look like asteroids or something. There's a lot of deception going on in the sky. Got this dark blue bowl thing. Got this snail cloud looking thing just dragging along. But in here is lots of debris, lots of rocks, lots of garbage. We'll bring that out a little bit more. I can't bring it out like I want to inside the maximizer because it's limited. And I can't even put this picture up at so many pixels. Um, it's like seven, no, seven megabytes or something. It's huge. So over here, I'm using Bandicam because I get the 1080p action, which is good quality. Brings everything out. Now, people say Sun Simulator. I don't know. Sun Simulator. This is definitely the bottom of a snail cloud. If you ever want to see a snail, I, I think that's part of a snail cloud, which I don't totally understand all that, but I don't need to. I see it right here. See all the debris mixed up in those clouds? That's not our atmosphere, folks. I don't think it is. Over here, you got, you know, a rock or something. You got, see that twisty look? That's an asteroid ripping through something. I'm just, you know, this is as close as you can get to it. Now, let me take it back in perspective here. You also have something here, like the striped planet from the other video, but right there. I haven't done anything to that. That's just there, and it's a little different than all this, right? Why? Because that actually, I think, is a planet, the way those stripy clouds are. Now, as we go down, okay, you get a look at it from a distance. Right here. Let me take my pencil out. And I'm going to just spot this around the circle of what I believe is a planet. I don't believe it's small either. I'm trying to, you know, keep it in perspective what I think, how big it is, maybe bigger than that. Okay, and then um, right above that, you have another object right there. Right? As you can see, you got that object right there. It's like a little moon, but when you pull it back, you got this other object that's bigger. See it? Okay, so let's see what we could do with our filter now that we're out of the maximizer. I did some filtering on it, um, but I want to see if I can clear it up even more. I'm going to bring down the exposure just a little bit. See how that planet's coming out down here? And you see how this little moon asteroid and then this little dark round sphere right here. Another one if you can't see it. And then, you know, I could show you 500 pictures like this from around the world. And I don't know, until I started doing this five years ago, I never seen the same sunsets every night. But like, I think having the opportunity to go worldwide and look at the suns 
you could see it's the same activity going on, which is called, you know, wormwood. The, you know, the Doc Govs gave us, you know, Planet X for their version of it, um, Planet Nine, Planet Seven. Uh, they get a lot of names for this stuff. So let me do. I did a little, make it a little bit clearer, a little clarity. See if we could bring those. Look, look, almost like rocks, like rocks right here. You know, it's like a world. Bring some more contrast in. See, as I do stuff, that planet comes out more and more. Not just a cloud, guys. I've seen it too much. It's way out there in the background. Now, what I like to do is bring a lot of black in it. Watch this. <laughs> that gives it that twilight zone. But then too much, you can't see that upper planet. So I could do it another way. I'll go black way up. I'll bring the and I brought the shadow way up. Now I'll bring the black down. Watch this. Just bring that top planet right up. Like fire in the sky, right? So there you go. That was my quick uh, current review today. You'll see this in a video. So um, I like this the way it looks like a fire underneath the planet. Because I think it's a, I think it's just a hellstorm going on. You know, God's in control of all this, people. He can snap his fingers. He can, snap, he can just wave his hand at you and say, hi. To the sky fall. Because it says that, you know, fire will fall from the sky. And we're not going to be visited by water. Look at that watcher. You see him? That could be the skull. If Rebecca and Sam, Sam Hill Hoffman show that skull, that's a pretty good picture of it. Kind of weird, huh? Anyway, that's how your imagination is going. But, you know, don't be afraid of it, folks, because uh, it's all in Revelation. I like this uh, chip cloud up here. And I call this really just a dark thing. Now, let me take you back to the original, so you don't think you're losing your mind.